Welcome back, everyone. Last time, we entered Kolima and almost got turned into trees. And now we're apparently telepathically communicating with the trees that have started this entire thing. Tret and Laurel. I take it the main one's Tret. Reawaken his gentle side? What do we do, poke him? Well, that's not good. Jeez, aren't you a jolly person? He's suicidal genocidal! That's weird. Yeah. Let's go talk to this bastard. Yeah, I do. Let's go beat him up. I mean, he's a tree. He can't move and he can't turn us into trees, so... We already win. Yeah, man. Let's wander around Coloma first. Since everyone is basically wood, you can't buy things here just yet. But that doesn't stop you from investigating jars and whatnot. There is a move that will make this a lot easier, but that move won't be learned for a very, 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 very long time. It's learned earlier in the second game, but... I could have sworn there's stuff around here. Oh, the long and tedious process. Apparently, Columba Forest isn't here. It's somewhere else. Look! A Jin! But apparently, it can't be reached through the house. Or can it? See, there's a front door. Oh, found an herb. How lame. However, there's nothing in the front of the house. But if you go behind it... There's an underground passageway. If memory serves, you can encounter enemies down here. I don't know if we will. But it is possible. Here we go. Nothing new. Oil drop! More cell bait. Circle around here, go up this ladder, and we have us our Jin, our second of the earth. We click granite. Now, I must tell you something else about Jin. One thing to remember is the fact that. You can't unevenly distribute Jin. You can't have, say, three on Isaac and only one on the others. At most, you each character can only have one more than the other. So basically, since everyone has one, Isaac is allowed to have a second. And when we set him, you learn something else. Classes. We saw that he was a squire before. Once he gets two Venus Jin, he turns into a knight. This drastically increases his stats, as you can well see. PP not so much this time around, but his HP, his attack, his defense, his agility, they all get freaking jacked. Really, really good. This holds true to everyone. The higher level their class, the more power they get, and the stronger they get. Moving along... Sort out everyone's things. And I'm definitely selling stuff when I get back to town. Go back down. Nah, go around. Since we didn't have a fun time killing these little bastards before, we should try this time. Die. We start getting more money for fights this time. Like now we're getting half a hundred 
for each kill. And Isaac's almost out of PP again. He runs out a lot faster than others. Maybe it's just the fact that his Earthquake costs a lot. I don't know. There's another concept of Jin and class that doesn't apply just yet. Level 6! And hasn't learned a new thing yet. Like I was saying, there's another aspect... Oh, damn it. Let's run. Ah! Or not. Don't kill Ivan! Run! Um, there's another aspect to, uh, classes. I might as well tell you. Certain uh, abilities change at level ups. Like, at level 18, Isaac has the ability to learn the revive spell. However, this will only happen if he is a rank 3 earth adept, or a gallant. Which is one class up from Knight. Wait. Let me think about that. Yeah, I think it's Gallant that he earns Revive. If he goes back to a Knight or a Squire, which is actually can happen, um, he will lose Revive, even though he is the proper level for it. When he, Even after he learns it, he can't hold it until he is a Gallant or higher. Now, another thing to keep in mind about Jin, they their abilities only count for you while you have them well let's just say equipped set. If you put them on standby or use them during battle, their bonuses don't apply. Yeah. Sucks, doesn't it? Anyway, on such a note, we head off to Kalima Forest. I don't waste time by mind reading those guys because it's pointless. Welcome to Kalima Forest, just slightly north and to the west of Kalima. There are new enemies here. This is actually one of the first full scale dungeons. It's nice and peaceful. And we find out that we can roll logs and fight. Here we have us a drone bee. And the witch wants stun voltage. That move is useful. Isaac is now level 6 and learned Spire. Fun, fun move. I like Spire. Uh, I don't really know where time is right now. That kind of scares me. Um, Due to my lack of knowing where time is, I think I'll end it here. Well, everyone... We have an objective in mind. We have to go and speak to Trent and try to calm down. Calm him down. Ugh. This has been Fenrir, and I'll see you all next time.